All right, we're turning around point, seven and a half miles, this roundabout, and uh, I think we're, I think we're right on track. There we go, ASICS Gel Nimbus Light, shoe of choice for today. Looking for a shoe with a little more uh, outsole grip, which is what I get in this shoe. Not, it's not crazy, but it's just enough through the snow we got last night here in Denver just to help make sure I don't fall on this seven minute or mile steady run here in the streets of Denver today. First, just getting that, getting those knees happy, getting those knees happy. Love the foam roller. Love this trigger point foam roller. It's just amazing. All right, time to, time to rock and roll. A6 Gel Nimbus lights, and yes, we did get about two to three inches last night, so we'll just see how slick it is out there. And the goal is a steady run, all right? So beginning to, so what is the goal today? To begin to introduce gentle or light turnover into my legs, into my gait cycle. And I will be breathing, of course, you know, I'll, my heart rate will be uh, higher than usual, you know, than the Steezy runs, of course, but I'm not that concerned about the aerobic benefit today. It's more about introducing turnover, uh, just gentle turnover. It's early week five, as I mentioned yesterday, the begin in the, in the marathon training block. So I'm excited and the sun is out. Uh, it's, it is chilly though. It's not, uh, you know, well for Denver, it's chilly. It's in the twenties right now. So I know that's uh, pretty warm for some locales of the world out there. All right, let's just see. Definitely need sunglasses today. Oh yeah, I'm not going to wear my vest today. I'm gonna to wear the flip belt to carry the GoPro. I'll pull the GoPro out a couple times, but it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna be doing too much filming today just because the pace is starting to pick up a little bit. So there you go, I'll wear that for the GoPro. Just uh, shoveled the sidewalks in. Yes, I'm sweating. Oh boy. It's actually pretty nice out. Okay, here we go. Steady run, steady through the snow. All right, we're turning around point, seven and a half miles, this roundabout, and uh, I think we're, I think we're right on track for steady. It feels steady. Uh, breathing feels good. Legs feel surprisingly good, despite running through the fresh snow. All right, let's uh, let's get this done. Halfway. Come on now. Hi. Now what is a steady run for me? All right, now moving a little faster. We got steady. Steady would be, yes, 
seven minutes a mile. A pro and it's all ranges. I would say put a 30 to 45, 30 second range. When I say seven minutes a mile, it's like a, it's a range there on either end of that. So it could be 645 to 17 minutes, uh, 715 a mile for a steady. Now you know. Okay, we're almost home. There it is, solid day. I'm guessing 655 per mile. I'll get you the stats once I get inside. Woo! Oh yeah, time for a little lunch. Some chicken and veggies and some hot sauce. There it is. Oh man. It's like, <clears throat> as the volume goes up, it's amazing the inert or inner desire to take care of the body as quick as possible after these steady runs, these long runs, like it's just a yearning where it's like you have to replenish as soon as possible. So that is what is going down right now. Hold on, I just gotta find my hot sauce. Oh yeah, a little sriracha, sriracha. Innate, that was the word I was looking for, innate. There we go. All right, here we go into the studio. It's freezing out here, but that's okay. We've got a hot tea to keep us warm. Okay, uh, before I jump into today's run, letting you know how it went, how the legs feel, how the Asics Gel Nimbus lights are doing. Uh, first of all, down below in the description, I want to point out two things real quick because folks are asking about it. First of all, toward the bottom on desktop, you click on show more. There it is on your screen. All right, show more, and it opens up the description to the daily vlog. On mobile, it's a little arrow that you have to look for. I think it's on the right-hand side just below the video. And once again, it opens up uh, the description. So toward the bottom of the description for the daily vlogs, I list my weekly training with volume and pacing. So it is down there in case you're interested in more of the details of this marathon training block. But in addition, you probably have noticed a lot of running shoes are listed. So these are shoes that I have tested out. And yes, if you're interested in picking them up from Running Warehouse, it helps support this channel. I'll just put it out there. For example, the Hoka Rincon is down there. The Asics Glide Ride, the, Go Run, the Skechers Go Run Ride 8, the Nike Next Percent. And yes, uh, I do receive a little support uh, through Running Warehouse if you pick up your shoes down there. Now, I always say with a big caveat, go support your local running shoe stores. I love, I love local running shoe stores, but maybe you don't live by a local running shoe store and you have no access to buy running shoes. So if you're interested in shoes that I train in, they are listed down below in the description that you can pick up from Running Warehouse. And it does help me uh, create these daily vlogs. So I appreciate it. All right. So I just wanted to mention those two things real quick. Okay. And on to today's steady run. Unbelievable. Oh, steady. It feels nice. It feels really nice. All right, there we go. Asics Gel Nimbus Light, 42 miles now, eight miles to go, and we will cross that 50 mile threshold. And then I will list it down below in the description in case you want to pick it up. Um, so it's uh, it's doing well. I must say, I didn't slip at all today on the run. I was actually, it wasn't that icy out because there's a fresh snow. You know, fresh snow is kind of nice to run on. It's not iced over yet. So they did great and just a nice, daily trainer you know i wouldn't even say it's an easy day shoe it's a little more up tempo daily train okay not tempo day but um it's better than an easy day shoe i'll just i'll put it that way and so anyway i'm enjoying the asics gel nimbus light there it is over there as well 15 miles six i called it 655 per mile there it is on your screen in kilometers you know how did i feel on the 15 miles today much better way better than last week when i did 16 miles and I was fighting snow in that 16 mile run. And it was hard, like by the end of the run, I was tired. I, th I remember saying it in the vlog a week ago, like, okay, that was actually a pretty hard run. Well, today's 15 miler at a quite a bit quicker pace, uh, seven, you know, 6.55 a mile versus 7.45 a mile. And the body, I think, responded well, which gets to the point of patience with your training. If you're consistent, and the big, the big word is consistent in your training, it gets easier and it becomes fun, especially in the summertime. Oh, when the weather's nice and you're just out there enjoying, I don't know, I just love running in the summertime. But um, when you're fit and you are able to run, runs like, like today, and then you get to go back and reflect, okay, how did I feel two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago, if you're consistent and you're slowly, all right, emphasis on slowly building up your volume, 
um, you will see improvement in your aerobic capacity and basically in the strength of your legs, like the, the ability for your legs to withstand the pounding. And it takes time. It just takes time to build up that leg strength, joints, uh, the tendons, the ligaments, all that good stuff. So overall, very encouraged by today's run and we're going to keep plugging away. All right. It's a good solid. Yes. As I said yesterday, it is kind of a critical week for me because I know this is the be the beginning of the harder stuff. The foundation is being laid, but it's the beginning of the harder stuff that will um, allow me to arrive at those hard workouts late in the training block, the interval sessions and the hard threshold runs. Okay, I think that's it. Feeling encouraged after a steady run. Just feels good to get that turnover going. Like I said earlier, like it's time to get those legs moving just a little bit. Okay, vlog's not over. Vlog's not over. Cheers. Okay, super psych everyone. Super psych. The vlog is over. I've decided the boys are almost home from school and so I'm just gonna chill out and hang out with them this afternoon, you know, without the camera rolling. So uh, we're gonna call it there. And question of the day, it's been a while since I've asked this QD for, it's been a long time. I think it's, I want to say six months approximately, but what is your favorite or go-to podcast that you are listening to right now, whether it's while you're running or simply commuting in your car? All right. What podcast is at the top of your list? I know a lot of people enjoy uh, multitasking when they run, meaning they're running, getting exercise, but they're also maybe learning, you know, being entertained as well along the journey of, uh, of life. So what is your go-to podcast right now? That's a question of the day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And that's it. All right. Cheers once again. And we're going to toss it back on the right to the first impression of the Asics Gel Nimbus Light. That is the shoe I ran in today. That'll be on the right. And then on the left, we're going to toss it back to yesterday's vlog where I talk about the week five marathon training, which we are in right now. All right. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.